This is Japanese traditional soba noodle. Hello, buddies. This is Ainok. Welcome to the channel. I'm a guy of Travel Tokyo on YouTube. In this channel, I'll take you to fantastic and wonderful place in Tokyo to make you enjoy. So don't forget to subscribe the channel, not to miss it. Today, I came to Tsukiji, Chiowa, Tokyo, Japan, to visit soba restaurant called Bunkaji. Soba is Japanese traditional noodle. Japanese are having soba from long, long time ago. And soba is very common food in Japan. So there are so many soba restaurants in all over Japan. However, some soba restaurants have high rating than other restaurants. So in this video, I'm going to visit one of high rating soba restaurants and share my body what the soba is and how it is. Are you ready for a journey? Let's go and see what's going on. Take Tokyo Metro, Hibiya Line, and get off the train in Tsukiji Station, exit number 2. Walking for about 5 minutes to get to the destination. The soba noodle restaurant is called Bunkajin. This soba restaurant was selected as 100 renowned soba noodle restaurant in Japan. Its business hour is from 11.30 am to 2 pm and from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday, Monday, and national holidays are randomly closed. Few people were waiting before the business hour, then during the lunch time. Customers kept coming to the restaurant, and all seats were occupied all the time. Inside the restaurant is modern style, but it also seems old-fashioned style as well. Some seats were unavailable for preventing the infection. Therefore, I felt very relaxed in the restaurant. This is the menu. There are so many types of soba noodle. We can choose from warm soba or cold soba. I ordered mori soba, cold soba. This is the one origin and the best. And this is the one that we should have when we go to the soba noodle restaurant. Leek and wasabi usually come with the soba. You can put into the soba soup and eat together. If you do not prefer to have, you don't have to have, just leave them. This is soba soup. We sink noodles into the soup to eat. It's made from soy sauce and fish broth. Let's eat soba noodle. Itadakimasu. This is soba. Have some soba and then put into the soba soup. And then eat it. Try to eat soba that you put into the soup with a bite, if possible. The soba noodle is very thin, but it's really, really chewy. It's so wonderful. Tastes so good. Soba soup is also nice. It tastes so rich of soy sauce and fish broth. Tastes very gentle. The color of soba is slightly white to brown depends on what kinds of soba flour contains in the noodle. This soba is slightly white. That means the kind of soba flour is center part or second part of soba seed. The point of the part. It smells very fragrant and tastes very gentle. In general, the blend balance is 20% normal flour and 80% soba flour. However, this shop serves the soba that is made from 100% pure soba flour. That means we can enjoy more real soba. And soba that is 100% pure soba flour is very difficult to make. For this reason, we can guess the skills of soba workers and soba might be good. Put some leek 
and wasabi, if you like. Those make the soba soup change the flavor. I recommend eat half of soba with just simple soba soup to enjoy pure soba and soba soup. And then put some leek and wasabi to change the taste to enjoy more. I love this soba. I almost finished whole soba. I want to have some more. But no worries. I already ordered another soba. Let me show you. This soba is called Isoyuki. This white soup is whipped egg white. Whipped egg white seems as snow, so it's called Isoyuki. We also have this soba with soba soup. Whipped egg white looks so fluffy. It must be good. Let's have it. Put soba sauce into a bowl to ready to eat. Look, this beautiful simmering soba. I have no idea what taste is. Let me try. What the good taste! It's surprising me so much. I've never had like this fantastic soba noodle. This is the best soba noodle I've ever had. I'm really happy now. This is so impressive. Soba is nice and chewy. Soba soup is also tasty. Those are same things that I had the one before, but whipped egg white makes it much better. It's creamy, melty, and... Sorry, I cannot describe it. I've been missing out of not having this soba. Look, I'm crazy about soba. I haven't shown myself like this. The match, this soba is wonderful. While I'm eating, I talk a little bit about the restaurant. As I explained, its business hour are divided into two parts, day part and night part. Night part. They may close the shop if the soba noodle is running out. So if you like to have soba, I guess it's better to visit day part. I would like to tell you a story. A European guy was working in the shop. I was really impressive and happy because soba attracts non-Japanese people. That means soba is acknowledged as a great food. I'm sure he will learn great skills of soba making. And I hope his sober life will be wonderful. ごちそうさまでした。How was soba? Have you ever tried it before? The soba noodle was very thin, but it was very, very chewy. And taste of soba flour was very nice. So fragrant. Soba soup was also good, very tasty. Taste of soy sauce and fish broth. I think it's made from bonito. I understand that. Why this restaurant has high rating. When you come to Tokyo, visit Bunkajin Tsukiji, you will have excellent soba noodle. Okay, that's all for today. Did you like the video? If you did, click like button below and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I have social media accounts Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Links are in the description box, so please follow me. If you have any questions or things you want to see or things you want me to try, just give me a comment. I'm looking forward to them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.